think entrepreneurship is more like a creative art. You know, so every feature that you develop, every product that you develop, you not only develop these products and features to make lives easy for people, you also develop these products to inspire a generation. Tutu is about mobility. Mobility has a power to not only shape up how people move, but in the long term it also has a power to how our societies and our communities and our infrastructure evolves. Public transit in Kathmandu is unreasonably unreliable and inefficient. Tutul is this new, really innovative and amazing ride-sharing platform that allows people without any means of transportation to just hop in on somebody else's motorcycle and go around the city. One of the very frustrating things that companies like Tutul have to deal with is that our laws have not been able to keep pace with the new innovations that are happening around the globe. Archaic laws like Motor Vehicle and Transport Management Act prevent private vehicles to offer taxi services to people in need. It forces companies like Tootle to operate in the shadow economy or largely operate in ambiguity. If you go back to the history, mobility has been um, the means of economic opportunities for people. So we feel at the core of it, freedom of mobility means enabling everyone with the economic opportunities. The kind of people that are you know, benefiting from the employment opportunity at Tutal are, are very interesting. Housewives that had nothing to do are coming out in the market and now earning money. In a society where we still have certain gender stereotypes, I think this is a rebellious move where you can see a woman giving right to other people, you know, where even simpler employment opportunities are not given to them. I think this is a big move that can change the gender stereotype um, and empowering women and that empowerment can lead to a massive change in future and they become a role model to do that. I was able to get a little bit of 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 I feel like I have a feel The existing development models are based on what has been successful in the West. But if you look at our societies and uh, say for example Asia, the 4 billion people that live in Asia right now, and three out of the four billion people live in the countries around Nepal, India, China, Bangladesh, Pakistan. What does it mean? It means that the challenges that you have for these four billion people are very similar. The core philosophy is also not leaving anyone behind in, in innovation because uh, they need to be the participants of innovation as well. At a time where the concept of shared economy is growing, where you know service seekers and service providers are able to connect by use of some technology, we need to actually capitalize on the existing opportunities that are being created by technology rather than creating hindrances that restrict people from improving their own lives and lives of those that surround them. Until we make it easy for people to do business, we will not be able to solve the biggest crisis of Nepal, that is poverty. One entrepreneur doesn't solve all the problems, but if we allow or if we enable an environment to create million entrepreneurs, billions of our problems will be solved. That's the beauty of the market. 